Hello and welcome back. Right, just got a couple of these little jobs to do. And then we're going to get that the straw done. And also to lime these, yeah, the grass in this field. And roll. I don't want there to be any messages about. Yeah, needing rolling forever. Yeah, like that. Because you're stuck with that forever with grass. Well, for as long as you've got the grass. And I intend for it to be a permanent field, so. Right, let's set this going. These are the, this is going to be the biggest job. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to go into a time lapse because. Yeah, it's all going to be graft. We've got to literally grab this off here. We've got to lime, fertilize, roll. It's, yeah, we just. I'd like to get all of that done, hopefully, in this session. So, without any further ado, I'm going to say, I want to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Right, just mopping up the last couple of little bits. There's just that one doing the last couple of lines. And we've got the last couple of lines on this, and that's what we're going to leave. We'll just have a look. Well, next time, what we are going to plant. I'm trying to look at the planting window. Yeah, it is. Yeah, wheat and barley, we did say, didn't we? September. So actually, we've got, yeah, next couple of months, we're going to be just hauling our product to the two BGAs, I think, which is a good place to be. We've only got the one roller. Yeah, that is true. We, yeah. Wants to do a, a straw crop, it suits our business model. Let's just grab this and yeah, send them to this. Rather than waste time. Her actually. So yeah. Gin her so. In fact, we'll do this ourselves. Last line. But it was never going to get there. It's such a big field. Mind you, I'm not complaining. It's, it is. It's what you want. Plenty of product. I'm not going to time lapse for one line. Yeah, I am quite. It's been a very productive session. We will have a look once we've done this line to see exactly how much we have got in both of the. We had 800 tons. I did do a few loads to the top one, as I said, I would to try to equalise it. Ooh, it's in a bit. Concentrate, coordinate, do the job properly. I don't know, can I get the staff? Yeah, um, it has been brilliant. I would like to see what the final amount is. We've got the rolling done on the new grass field, so we've fertilised limes on that, even that little strip as well, just so it, well, I need to roll that, but I'm going to do that next session manually. It's it's not terrible, it's not really like we're going to use it as a field, it's really just for grass, but yeah, it's, you never know where you might think, oh, I do need a few tons of grass, it could be for animals or something like that, so yeah, it's it's worth doing, looking after it properly. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see if I was not far off with a million, 900 tons to a million. get this line done but looks like we'll be coming back a little bit yeah it's, it's been a monster session again but then yeah this this always is it's the fields are so big and there's so much to do it's good it keeps you busy the only thing is this day seems to go on forever this month should I say let's yeah let's say how it is yeah this month is but it is what it is it is the work on the farm that is the nature of the beast. Little farms, you can, if you've got a field, it will take a few minutes to turn around. And with lots of fields, it will, would indeed take you months to get all your work done. Even with a workforce like we've got, it is still, it's a big farm. I do need to wash these tractors that I noticed they're all absolutely ditched. I mean all, all apart from the little ones, I think. The Zetas are okay. Right. Last little bits. They are big windrows. Was it, was it, yeah, I'm in the header size of that bee. I am keeping the harvester as well. Yeah, I, it costs us 172,000 to buy that beast, and we'd get 90 grand back. It is a massive header. I know we need to buy it, and although it isn't ideal, I just feel that we'd be wasting more money than we would be. Yeah, it would. Yes, we could buy one of a team, but we can still have that for the smaller fields. Just have it chugging away on its own and stick a trailer by it, we'll have to manually unload. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. It's not perfect, but then rarely in life things are. So, yeah, it's it's just too good a harvest. Too massive a loss to actually uh, yeah, waste money like that. At least presently. There may be a time when we make a decision later on down the line that we just want a team that is all going to match and that it's 
if we've got lots of money that it, we're in a position to do that type of thing but in this present position we have a harvester we just need a header we don't know how things are going to go next year where we might not be able to afford another set of harvesters or we might be saving up for something else more important so right smash it so all we've got left to do is the rolling oh actually no we haven't that's been finished as well smash it this seems a very good place to leave it we'll just check to see how much yeah I was thinking about this as well obviously what I might do is fill these with the silage because these are very close to this bottom BGA we'll just fill these with silage from this one and take that over to that BGA oh my life that is filthy next session I might add obviously not this session right so then how did we do in the two straw silage 876 and 805 so yeah with two loads difference yeah to do it perfectly we would have had to take in one load out of this one and put it in that one but you know I can live with that that's near as damn it so that is actually then I wasn't far off bearing in mind it has also you know actually done some 12 tons and 16 tons respectively not bad 900 tons and the other had 800 and something last time so yeah I am pleased with that it was you don't get much closer than that I was quite I quite chuffed between 900 and a thousand and we got 900 and odd so absolutely amazing yeah, fantastic yeah that is an awful lot as I said that is 120 tons per month that is about seven months of silage to be created even at full pelts on both of them which is 240 tons every single day from the pair of them so we've got the top one which takes 75 tons a day and I think that one does take 120 so actually we're still going to have more on hand because we can't feed the top BGA enough to keep up with the seven months I would imagine it's probably going to be more like 10 months while we completely empty all of the silage well it makes the silage and empties the silage if you get my drift so it's a good place to be it really is it's, it's a matter of lugging that now each and every day to those that would be two journeys a piece from this bottom one although what we could do is send them and then mind you we're going to take 170 tonner for the top and then we could grab another 70 tons down here these two 36 odd tons and another 70 tons would mean yeah that isn't far off it is as good as near as damn it as well it's yeah trying to get a good system up and running so that you know what you're doing i think that is the thing we bought one of the rollers in time i'd like to buy more but i want to keep the money on hand just yeah for the rainy day fund you never know what's around the corner that you need or yeah to sort of but we've done what we said we were going to do we've literally got all of the let's just quickly go and grab the top yeah and have a quick look at the yeah let's just grab these corners i know in the grand scheme of things it's not important but we're right next to them it will be yeah it's only going to take a minute to do it so why not? I think as well as corner. Looks like that's been missed. Oh no, it hasn't. No, it has been done. Just not been there. Uh, it has been fertilised, that's all. And I'm not worried. Right, let's just check this one while, we, while we've got the roller rolling. at least two or three of these will be the trick definitely yeah that is true we still want to roll this even if I don't want it to say needs rolling even though it's not going to be grass that we use as grass let's just finish this one and we'll do the other half next time the bottom section if we can in between the jobs that we need to do which yeah it's mainly silage so just trying to think, I don't think I could get away with a little Zeta. Yeah, it's funny, although we've got a massive team, there still is probably that, that 
yeah, it would have been a good idea to get that uh, another 105 horsepower one for things like this. But to be honest, I think either another RX 170 or another Deutz, the um, Agristar, Ag yeah, Agristar. I do think another one of those would definitely be the ticket for those mid-range, medium-sized, well, small to medium-sized tractors. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, this obviously is the star of the show as much as it's the biggest horsepower we've got presently. So therefore there's a few jobs that only it can do. So it always, it's always best to pick your smaller tractors first, I think. The job, yeah, and work up towards the biggest one. But yeah, it has been fantastic. So last job of the day. Well, I am chuffed. I am. Again, I'm not worried about fertilising for this. I just don't want to see to say needs rolling forever. That's the only thing I'm, that bothers me. It's not really for grass. Yes, we may cut it manually if we really desperately needed it, but it's not really for a grass field that I've done this. Not the bottom section, it's for the yard, so... We're coming on, though. I know the money's low again, but yeah, when you consider... We, we, saved up for the harvester, it's not bad on top, it's all in the same day, the same month, so our turnover, cash turnover is quite phenomenal, I'm quite pleased. Yes, there were big times early on where I was worried about jumping from one job to the next and having enough money to, that's, in this let's play with having so much so ah, it's a back end isn't it yeah I'm looking forward to that I know we've got quite a few months of work to do before we get to the back end selling our oats but that should we should be able to do the animals straight away as soon as we've got that and go big also so I'm chuffed about that yeah I can't wait to put the uh, really Christie one big cow barn down now that we know we've got enough money to do it, it'll be interesting to see how many uh, animals we can buy. Because of course, we will also have um, had months of silage sold at the BGA for energy and also digest state. So yeah, um, by the time we get to that, I would imagine we should have quite a lot of cash on hand. Unless of course we've spent it on other things, which is usually the case. But it's still still good, our business model is working, it's bringing in a lot of money and that is obviously a brilliant place to be for a farm. Yeah, but it's not at those times at the beginning where you're like worrying about, oh, how do I earn 70 grand for this or 100 grand for that, yeah. I can see the fact that the money is there, it's just a matter of plodding away with our business model and the money will come in. It's already there really, it's just yeah, a matter of going through the paces, doing the work and yeah, taking the products of the BGA and sell our digestates. Amazing. And of course the oats. Let's not forget that monstrous amount of oats that we've got to sell that was going to bring in an absolute fortune in the back end. So yes. What's not to like? That's uh, slightly too big for one. So I may as well give myself a generous overlap because I'm not going to do it no matter how hard. Yes, I would like to. I keep thinking on this Let's Play I bought the Dalbo, but it isn't. It's on one of the other Let's Plays. I'm trying to think which one it is. It's. That's right, it is our Greenlands. We've just got the Dalbo on a special, on a sale, so yeah, I'm looking forward to using that one. It's not the big one, it's the 12.5 metre, but, well, not that that's small. But, I mean, the, the gut load is still 8 metres, so it's not, yeah. Right, this and then a tiny bit of cleaning at the other end, and that is us done. Monstrous session very productive again
It's a key. No, the numbers. This one seems. It is very strange with um, these sort of things. A lot of the bigger names now are coming back onto this map. A bit like the Carmston. And uh, my numbers seem to be. Oh, why am I doing that? Yeah, my numbers are, seem to be dropping. So I'm going to keep my eye on this. But I am. I'm going to do what I did on No Man's Land. Sometimes it's not always about getting the numbers at the beginning. It's. I'm not going to pull the plug on this one. Where, uh, no Man's Land, I sort of stopped because it was, yeah, it really was abysmal numbers. But this one, I'm interested to see how far we can go. Yeah. And it's not always about, although it is about your numbers looking. You don't know who's going to come in the future and have a look at your series and compare it to everyone else's. So, yeah, it's sometimes we've been a starting content creator I've got s some oh did I do yes I did yeah I've got some of my content that doesn't finish properly because yeah I, I'm no, not sure I always keep my saves so that I can go back if I want but yeah it's obviously when the numbers drop terribly but you've got some that are I've got really high numbers that people are really enjoying then I think it's obviously as a content creator it's a good idea to go to the ones that people are liking but as a human being I don't like that because I'd like to finish but yeah I mean my Carmsden I thoroughly enjoyed both of those I had an extreme one and a normal one and the numbers yeah just dipped to nothing sort of yeah so it's a shame people want to see new maps don't they I understand it so yeah I, I aim to please I aim to try to create content that people are going to watch but as a human being I would have liked to follow some of these let's plays to a more pro a proper finish I would but it is what it is it is the nature of the beast so you've got all that grass growing that's a point are we at a no if I let's yeah let's do that needs rolling I'd, I'd like to just f go forward. Being as we know it's September, the plan's in. It would be nice to actually finish this and go on till tomorrow. It just seems to have lasted forever. The day does. So, yeah, let's just finish this little bit of rolling. And then we can go on till August. That is what, yeah. That's where I'm going to leave it. I might put a bit of concrete down for those now and I do realise I was not really putting the grass around that and I thought you Wally the grass is going to grow <laughs> right around that and you've just done painted grass yes I, the irony of the situation did get me in the end when I did think about it I thought yeah it, what a waste of money the, that grass painted grass is so expensive yeah I mean you could paint the green the, like the bold green that is the basis for grass but to actually plant the plant grass is really really expensive literally thousands for a little tiny patch that would cost you a tad I suppose it yeah is probably for the bigger farmers who yeah when they get massive that you just do a paint a field of well not a field of grass I don't think anyone's going to do that but yeah keeping things tidy sometimes it's worth the expensive cost but not for little farmers who can't afford it it's best to plant your own like we've done I think not that we're little but yeah it's still expediency and cost it was not cost effective I don't think to uh, did I? no that's not rolled that's just planted Yeah, there's going to be the odd patch like that of, yeah, meadow grass that then becomes normal grass. I'm not worried. It's nice to have. Yeah, I don't think you can worry. Well, some people do worry about things looking just right, but it is, it is what it is. Lots of fields have got different kinds of mixed grasses and things. It's not the end of the world. have got more important things to worry about. be nice just to finish this on a good place and then to next session we should take the 
silage to the two BGAs and I think we'll build the digestate up for a bit as a bit of a nest egg, we'll just cash in on the, the energy until the back end I would say and then we'll, unless we need it for something like something that comes up that we need I'm going to, I'm not going to worry about the header for the um, harvester just yet either we have got almost a year till the next time we will need one and at least we know it does handle a big one which that is a real amazing thing yeah I'm quite happy we've got most of the stone there's just the odd one I just noticed a bit there but yeah it's nearly all really is the odd bit as well, like probably two or three pieces in the entire field, but bearing in mind these fields are big. Yeah, I'm very pleased with those stone pickers. Focusers are definitely an asset. One that I will definitely be using probably as my go-to for stone pickers on a lot of Let's Plays, unless we're lucky enough to get something like the Scorpion as a sale item or something like that. But even then, actually, the Funkuses are so cost-effective. Just under 4,000, whereas the Scorpions are an awful lot, really. And they're only a little bit bigger. They're not, it's, yeah, I can live with the Funkuses sizes, 2.7 metres. It's not bad. Especially when you bear it in mind for the cost. Just a bit there. I always forget these take quite a while to drop. saying, mind you it's a big field oh, it's even taken some paint off that's brand new one, oh that, that's got to be wrong surely, one field has damaged it to the point that the paint's coming off I don't know yeah, and I've even got that reduced paint damage to 50% so if this was 100% normal, that would be mega bad Right, okay then, let us rest until the morning. Now I'm just trying to make sure I've forgotten anything. Let's have a quick look on precision farming. Now I'm not worried about um, the big field, even though that's still not bad for pH, but yeah. Now I think giants have done something to the precision farming because yeah, the nitrogen, when normally you do um, grass work, it does it green it has done for ever since precision farming has started i think giants are making the so you've got to use multiple things or you've got to switch manual on which to be honest if that's what i've got to do i don't like being dragged through a process where you can do it perfectly that's the whole point of precision farming so it's precise and it does it automatically to turn the auto down so that it's you've got to do it twice is defeating the entire object of precision farming in which case I should be doing it manually but yes yeah, something seems to have changed it was reading as auto but it's only gone orange so yeah nitrogen bad oh no this is the bit I haven't done actually and grass is one of those things that is it's not like oats and that yeah nitrogen perfect it says 
but it's yeah that's not or not as it has been I don't know perhaps giants have changed something and it is just a change of rules but we shall see yeah it's definitely definitely a change and not as it has been in the past anyway let's sleep till morning let's have a look I think I've already I have looked at this but I just can't remember I don't think there's anything that we need if I'm honest no there isn't right let's rest till morning at eight o'clock definitely so September is our planting. I think we'll do barley and wheat, I think, if I'm honest. First growth stage on our grass. Fantastic. Absolutely. It should be, there shouldn't be many nasty brown patches. We did go over this quite thoroughly. I'm sure there will be something. It's always a patch that catches you out, but... Let's just check what silage we've got on hand. We should have 240 in total. Oh yeah, no, no, we actually finished late in the day, so yeah, that is true. 100, and, it's still 200 tons. That is amazing. Did we completely empty that one? No, we didn't. We've got 92 tons in that, so yeah, we need to be shifting that as well. Three of those fermenting silos. That's 360 total tons if we had fed them enough. So that is amazing. Let's ha let's go out and see if there is anything. No, we don't need any trailers. And no, no, we've gone forage wagons, haven't we? So yep, all good. Nothing to see there. 93,790. So we got a slight tick up from our energy that we did feed yesterday. We're gonna have to fill out both of the BGAs. That's the job for today. And there was something else I was just thinking then. Let's have a quick look at. Wow, that's still good. That the train yard pays very well though. We'll keep our eye on that one, definitely. There was something I was gonna say. It'll come to me. It's, it can't be important. We've done all the jobs that we need to do. Yeah, that it's simple as that. We'll get that all of the products over to the two BGAs next time. And then we shall cycle through till next month. Once we've done all of that, so there's nothing else to do. That will grow to second grow stage. We're going to cut it. Yeah, we will get one cut in and it will grow. Yeah, it grows right till November. So if we cut that in first September, October, it will also get one grow stage. So it won't be bold for the beginning of next year because, it, yeah, it takes longer then to grow. So amazing. Anyway, no more waffling. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope you're going to continue with me on this journey and I'm going to say goodbye for now.